Welcome back, friends, to another New World video. Today, we're going to be watching a community Q&A. So Q&A standing for questions and answers. Um, the devs for the past couple of weeks have been fielding questions from the community uh, in forms of Discord and Reddit. Now, previously, the past few videos that we've had for Q&As have been a little bit frustrating. It feels like they, I don't know, they either take questions that are good and then answer them in a crappy fashion, or they just take questions that are a little bit dumb you know like uh what color of shoes are you guys thinking of adding to the game <laughs> or they will take a question like i say that's pretty important like do you guys plan to add any new outpost rush maps and they'll say something like uh we, so we do have plans but nothing to confirm in the future maybe we'll do a thing uh, you, you stay tuned uh, <laughs> so that's what it says uh we can take a quick look at the timestamps here to see what topics they are going to cover so they're starting off with season five news upcoming feature news delays pvp why keep C Secrets. Oh, this is an important question. Why keep secrets? Daggers, outpost rush updates, expansions, dev communication, dev players, town buffs, PvP balance, dev dislikes, large server mergers, wombat mount, <laughs> wombat mount, uh, checks and balances, Asia server, title notifications, rise of the angry earth, right and wrong designs, reassurances. Okay. Um, I assume reassurances is like, is the server shutting down? Also, this is a pretty interesting setting for them, chat. We don't usually see videos in uh, this sort of form. I think when this was recorded, the devs were at um, Game Developer con con Conference uh, Convention, GDC, which is in San Francisco. So looks pretty sunny. Right, let's go. Big video chat. Let's go. Why do we have to wait until June? Why has there been such a lack of investment into the PvP aspect? Can we please get an update on cross server 3v3? Wombat Mount Win. God, that's loud. Yeah, that looked like a like a handicap video. <laughs> like a Cloverfield. Hey everybody, welcome to Forge in the Turn, where we it's talk Scott. about all things New World. Today we're in San Francisco at the Game Developers Conference doing it on location. And it's a Q&A episode. I'm here with Katie and Scott, who you know really well by now. Hi, Katie. Hi, Scott. Bring on the questions, Levin. Uh, well, I, first things first, is there any news on season five and its release? Yes, season five will be released April 2nd. Okay. So that said, a um, little context from me. All right. Uh, we are filming this right after a game developers conference panel we hosted titled The Power of Community Feedback to Create Better Games. And right now, I would describe the temperature is kind of hot, right? Um, yeah, community feedback to make a better game is like a pretty <laughs> interesting concept. <laughs> community feedback for any world, making a better game. Hmm. There are many concerns that we are giving up on the game, that we don't care, that we aren't communicating enough about, you know, our delayed season five release. The list is extensive. Yeah. So in the spirit of using community feedback to create better games, what can you tell us? Why do we have to wait until June? And will there be any news about upcoming features before then? So first, nobody is giving up on the game from the developer standpoint. We we are working long hours Those and really hard though. toward a big goal this year, which we can't wait to share with you in June. It destroys us that we can't give you the information that you want. We'd love to talk about this, but sometimes you have to look at what's best for the long-term health of the game against some of the short-term gains. And it's awful, and I know it's not what you want to hear. That said, we're not allowed to give any real details Why? about what's coming out or what we're going to announce in June. Why? But, I, you know, we're... we're trying to figure clever ways we can give you some information and at least let you have a kind of an idea on what's coming. So I wonder if this is maybe to do with like a, a gear score increase or something, something that's going to majorly change the economy. Like if they announce that they're uh, like scrapping all the existing perks or whatever, and you have to regrind all of your gear, like maybe it's something like that. I don't know. They, they don't want to give details too early because they did this with Brimstone or whatever. Well, I can't even remember. No, it was when we knew that there was going to be the gear score increase for, um, the rise of the angry earth and then nobody wanted to buy or do anything maybe i guess I, I, so that would be one way you can't say all right so eagle-eyed viewers should be looking for little clues here and there absolutely there's going to be some clues and there might even be one in this episode and it might even be more than a clue it might be a direct answer what is amazon games doing with these delays we hear you loud and clear on like we've we've, we've not had a great history of releases being clean and we told you it was a focus of ours and then we had the season four which we weren't proud of 
Mm. We're taking the time here to try and get it right. And let's not forget, we just completely changed the entire underlying system under our animation system, which means all navigation and combat, mantling. You know, there were problems and you found a lot in the PTR. We want to address as many of those as we can. We're not going to get all of them, but we are work, you know, prioritizing the ones that could be exploitive in gameplay. It's super important. And you know, this is a new process that we've got to give it a shot. And we, you know, we need to get better. And we're really doing everything we can to make season five a clean release. All right. I think it's a shame that they baked that into season five. I think if season five was independently its own thing with the content and the artifacts and stuff, and then the, the updated animation and combat stuff that happened at some point in season five, then yeah, I don't know. It's just a shame that it, it has to, they, for Amazon saying it has to coincide, uh, you know, with the same thing. But either way, I mean, it's only a week away at this point, chat. As of recording this video and stream, it's only a week away. Uh, here we go. This is a pretty important question as well. Why has there been such a lack of investment into the PvP aspect of your game? Is it down to resource management, player data? Yeah, so before we launched, like way back, New World was a PvP focus game. Um, mm -hmm. And we listened to the players at that time and we adjusted and we actually made it more PvE focused based on that, that feedback. And what we see is the majority of our players are PVE focused. We do have PVP players though, and we do have different modes for Get them. Wrecked, chat. And moving forward, it's definitely something that we want to invest in. I'm a PVE Andy and I'm, I'm the majority. <laughs> no, I don't know. I would definitely do some ranked PVP if it was there, but um, yeah, the, the, mass, the, the masses of PVE, at least it's what's being said. Well, on that note, I know you can't talk about upcoming content, but can you at least say, Yes, PvP things are coming. Be as vague as you want, but we need something. Yes, we're working on something for PvP that's pretty darn big part of the June announcement. We can't wait to share it with you. If I could tell you today, I would. Um, I'm really excited about it. I think it's going to be the uh, open world PvP zone that we saw because they accidentally put it onto the PTR. Well, accidentally, I don't know. Maybe it was an intentional leak, but uh, they, were, they were testing out the idea of you go into an area and you're automatically flagged for PvP. So I, I bet that, that's the bag in prediction. Okay. I don't well, know if that's exciting enough. Can we please enough. get an update on cross server 3v3? Hmm. Yeah. You will get them in 2024. All right. Wow. Big secret. Why is it a secret? I touched on this in the beginning, but sometimes you have to do what's best for the long-term health of the game over the short-term health. And we have different information than, than you all have on that. We can't share it yet. I think it'll be more apparent once we make the announcement. Um, but, you know, I, it's a secret. A long time again. The only the only thing that I could think that would make sense to the chat, where like if it's better for the long term health of the game, uh, so they why they can't drop the information now, like something that if we knew the information, it would affect the long term health of the game. I mean, it's got to be like a gear score increase or something, right? You know what? What else? I don't know. Nothing else makes sense. Some sort of reset or something like that or fresh that. I don't know. Yeah. Why would it be a secret? So in the past, they have leaked things too early. Like uh, it's been spoiled that, you know, a level cap increase is coming or a gear score increase is coming. And because we know the level cap of a gear score is increasing, it makes what you're currently doing in the game right now feel pointless. Like why make any progress right now? Because, you know, in with in X number of months, there's going to be a thing that makes all your existing items defunct. So that's what I'm guessing it's going to be. But you know, that, that would be the, the only reason. Gamby says, what did I miss? Uh, what has been said so far? Um, they have said that just kind of more of the same so far. Has there been anything like important chat? It's kind of been more of the same. They're at San Francisco in the time of recording because they're at Game Developer Conference. So they get this cool setup. <laughs> um, I don't think anything is too out of the ordinary has been said so far. Time ago, we got a small peek at daggers as a weapon in New World is that still happening or at least a possibility? Yeah. We are not working on daggers. Okay. Any planned updates to OPR? Honestly, Man, at this point. Some of these answers are just like really, I mean, I, I get it's good. It's to the point, but it's very, boom, no, yes. <laughs> okay. They're not working on daggers. Well, there you go, chat. Point, just a new map will not cut it. It needs a bigger update than just a new map. Well, I touched on this on my three answers ago. 
we're, we're doing a big investment in PVP. It is not an OPR map, but I think it'll satiate the PVP players. Any idea if we can expect more expansions ever? Yes, you can expect expansions ever. <laughs> okay. Given there is a general sense of frustration around New World right now, low player count, season five delayed, a sense not being heard as a community, why is there a lack of effort from the devs to communicate and address the community's frustration? It's been nothing but radio silence from the devs. So we, we've talked about this a, a few times, like it's not a lack of effort, it's not a lack of desire. We would love to be telling you everything we're doing, but it, it's not best for the long-term health of the game right now. And as soon as we can in June, we will. But we do understand that you need to, you know, I'd want to know more too if I was on, you know, if, if I was outside of the game team. So we're going to, we're going to try to find ways to give you hints or clues at what we're working on over the next month or so. Hmm. What devs actually play the game and this what serve? Yeah, so um, we, so all devs play the game is what we absolutely strive for. Um, I know that Scott just did a presentation and included some of our playtime um, and as far as the leadership team, besides the, the new guy who only has about 100 hours, um, all of us are over 1,000. Uh, one of us is over 3,000. Um, but yeah, so we do play the game. Um, I will hours, say uh, that the majority of devs have a character. Some have their main on Eldorado. Mm. Uh, there's also some folks on Lilith. Um, and Isabella. And, and Isabella. I have my, my secondary on Isabella, yeah. but to be quite honest, I haven't really logged into that character in a while. Um, That's my primary. No characters in Europe. I have another, and I have another one on Eldorado. I mean, I guess it makes sense. I, say, I have about Europe. 750 hours on Eldorado and about 750 hours on Isabella. Yeah, Isabella was my fresh start world. It was a lot of fun. Um, but I went back to my main probably like three months ago. I think it's critically important that everyone on the dev team play the game. I literally just did a talk on how important this is. I agree. One take I very away. much agree. Let's get your team to play the game. Otherwise, we can't have authentic conversations with the players. It's impossible. That's why chat got like upset last week when the when there was the dev who forgot what the level cap was. Like if you if you play the game, then obviously that wouldn't happen. I mean, the benefit of the doubt is maybe just nerves or something like that, or just like brief, you know, memory uh, poop. Um, but yeah, that's why people get upset about that one. Everybody who works on New World should play New World at least just a little bit, you know. To be to not play the game at all seems a bit strange. Um, also, I saw a bunch of you guys saying, why June? It's March. Um, so my speculation on June is it's something to do with marketing. A lot of games, uh, like big events, like the um, Summer Game Awards happen in June. So Amazon's most likely planning to bring, you know, uh, some sort of video, some sort of marketing material to be announced when all the big game announcements happen. So uh, I wouldn't be surprised if you see Amazon Game Studios attending uh, you know, the, the, the game announcements this year that happen around the, the, that time, the summer game announcements, and they're going to announce it there. And the reason why they can't say it now is because of marketing and maybe because of what Scott's saying, which is like it's not good for the long-term health of the game. So I don't know. Part of it is maybe his hands are tied and his, his boss or his boss's boss say that you're not allowed to say anything because of marketing or it's because of like a, you know, a gear score increase and they don't want it to have a knock-on effect. Gamer says, it is impressive though, full-time jobs working on a game, then going home and playing thousands of hours on that same game. I mean, I would almost like to imagine, I, I don't know, like this is maybe uh, really stupid or, or wishful thinking or whatever, but you would carve out some time in the work week, like, you know, just like, hey, a couple hours of the week, you guys are actually just going to play the game or, the, you know, we're just going to do this thing, you know? June is terrible. Elden Ring DLC, Final Fantasy 14, new expansion, all sorts of other stuff. Yeah, I mean, season seven, which is like whatever they announce in June probably isn't going to happen until September, October, which is also, you know, I think uh, Ashes of Creation Alpha 2, World of Warcraft expansion, like all of that stuff is going to be happening there as well. So they're always going to be competing and being compared against other MMOs. Uh, all right, let's keep going. Are there any plans to improve the town buffs? I would really love to see the ability to request or personally purchase them. Yeah. Right now, there's no... That's not in the works. Okay. Right. <laughs> Damn, that's a bit disappointing. Uh, also, this is very clearly uh, <laughs> Jake L. Like, you can see the profile picture and the name is, like, so poorly blurred. <laughs> you can really see that it is. Uh, that's a shame to hear that they don't want to do anything more with town buffs. I feel like they're pretty uh, dated these days. Could definitely do with some improvements. Right now, there's no... That's not in the works. Okay. Are there plans to be more aggressive with PvP balance? 
the PvP balancing was implemented but isn't being adjusted as much as one would have thought. Is there plans to adjust them more to prevent metas in PvP becoming too stale or boring? Well, I think, like, every patch we put out tends to have balance changes incorporated into them. Um, you know, and the more, the bigger patches, you know, will contain kind of weapon reworks or, or reimagining. Um, so that's something that our, our combat team is always looking at and always trying to balance, uh, especially when there's, you know, there's exploits, then we'll, you know, hotfix for that because we know that 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 kind of like exploitative gameplay, like it's just not like that has to get hit immediately. But in terms of like the meta and stuff, um, we have a combat balance update that happens about like a month to a month and a half after a big seasonal update. Yeah. Um, that gives us time to really sit with whatever the new meta is, if there is a new meta um, and make adjustments, test those adjustments, make sure that they're good. Um, but I will say that, you know, a lot of the time it feels like we don't go so aggressive and I would agree with them on that. Um, yeah. And well, that's something that we can take back to the team and yeah. be like, you know, is this is this the right change or should we be more aggressive with it? And then tailor it back for the mm. next one. So and that's a and, conversation we can have. And, you know, take a look at the patch notes for season five, uh, like Katie said, April 2nd. So there'll be big changes there. Um, and then I think the next balance of power is going to be a couple weeks after that releases, right, Mike? Yeah, that's right. Uh, we looked at all the feedback for balance of power from last time. We want to just, you know, keep iterating on this and improving it. So the next episode of Balance of Power will launch a few weeks after season five is out. Yeah, so like mid-April. Yeah, I would just add on because of my last answer. The majority of our combat team plays the game actively as PvP players in live. So they they are in tune with what's going on there. What content do the devs not enjoy or dislike and or want to change as a player, not a dev? As the player base has complaints and the devs might not see it the same. I have one. Okay. The devs hate 3v3 arena. <laughs> yes, <laughs> they absolutely detest it. No, I don't know. Let's see. Okay, so I think we should do one thing that we really love and one thing that we would change or that we don't necessarily. Can we just do the hate one? No. <laughs> I'm doing the hate one. You know what I want? And I know the I'm players want it. I want to get rid of that perfect salvage pop-up so bad. <laughs> you actually don't like pop-ups in That's general. So. I, don't, I generally don't like stuff getting in the way and interfering. They are really annoying. The, the perfect salvage one. It's going to be gone. Can't wait. And the notifications. Uh, the thing that I really, really like is that we did sort of recently is um, the art for Elysian Wilds. I think that that was super different. It gave me the same feeling entering that zone that I got from Brimstone Sands because it's so different from the rest of the world. I really like that a lot. Um, and then the thing that I would probably have changed um, is also related to Elysian Wilds and the expansion. And that was, we have a quest line called Secret of the Spores. Um, I would have held that back and waited until it was in a, like, a more exciting place for players and was like a really cool loop. Right now, I mean, not a lot of people do it. Um, yeah, the spawn mechanics sucks. I don't think a lot of people sucks. maybe understand what it is or why it would like, How many of you guys in chat have uh, made a spore potion and like done anything with spores? Like how many, <laughs> there's probably like maybe three people in chat who have done some like spore related content. <laughs> it's like, it's so few people. I did it on the PTR and I was like, wow, this sucks. And then I haven't even bothered with live. A couple of times, never, not once, nothing, no. Yeah, for Savage Divide. Yeah, I guess that's the idea if you do it for Savage Divide, but uh, me says Red Rubicon. Too much work. It's a lot of work. Yeah, they, they could have done, like, the Spore idea is kind of interesting, but it just ends up, like, I don't know. It's so much effort to go through for such a meager rewards. Maybe for, like, speedrunning Savage Divide, yeah. Definitely could have done with uh, revamping it. I mean, they still can. I would say, Amazon, you know, it sounds like uh, you, you still could do something. Just like with, you know, the Sandworm and 3v3 Arena and everything else. You could just change the rewards. <laughs> but we, you guys don't like doing that. It would be interesting. So I would have I would have liked to hold that back and rework it. Um, I think still like, can. my favorite uh, like gameplay in New World is, is Arena's. And I know that oh. that's not in the best place right now. And I think especially for population and, and you know, cross world will help with that a lot. So I'm excited for that. Um, the thing that I, I, it's not that I like it the least, but I feel like it has a lot of potential that we never really like dove into is like the darkness portals. Oh yeah, like, yeah. All mm. across the map. Yeah, You know, breaches. we had grand plans for that kind of stuff and yeah. things had to be scaled back. And like, I I, as a player, I would love for that to get more 
Like oh, a Mormon emphasis. Back. Like there's reasons to do them again, so it's kind yeah. of fun. Yeah, for the abyss. I, I'm gonna go back. I didn't say something I like. I think one of the things I like a lot is uh, all the updates to the MSQ, especially the last oh, one, yeah, bringing yeah, it yeah. home. Like yeah. it really like makes the game like. Yeah, it's a different game than it was two and a half years or, you know, back when we launched. Yeah. yeah. So when are we going to get large server merges? We need a single US server along with a single EU server, et cetera. It'd be interesting to see what they say on the concept of mega servers. I'm gonna, I think they're gonna say that it's not ever planned, maybe. Uh, so there's going to be a pretty aggressive merge happening. Uh, I think they're looking at March 27th. But, but yeah, hold on, none right. of us are aligned with one server in the US. No, we're not. No, but there's going to be an aggressive merge happening on March 27th or around March 27th. Wombat Mount Win. No. no. <laughs> Despite the game's potential to be one of the best MMOs, the management of the game by the entire team is a continuation of disappointments and choices that lead players to leave. Is there anyone who can correct your mistakes? Damn. Or do you <laughs> pretend nothing happened thinking that everything is fine? Some of these questions are brutal. <laughs> like I say, nothing else, you know, respect to uh, take the questions like that and just get slapped in the face. Let's see what they say. We constantly self-evaluate. I think the difference is we just have different information than you. We know where we're going. So why things may seem like the data, why aren't they focused on this thing I want right now? Maybe the reveal will reveal something that we're, you know, different that we're focusing in the, on that you might think is important. We yeah. try to, like uh, console. you know, we, 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 we literally try to understand what the players want and need. We have to remember there's more players than just on Reddit or on Discord like that's and that are loud. That's not the vast majority. And I understand players are leaving the game and there's reasons for that. But we are trying to do what we think is holistically best for the entire game. Like get the game to Xbox and PlayStation, make a lot of money. <laughs> And I think also like there's a there's a lot of feedback we've gotten about like how we look at data without context and things like that. And just to give people an idea, you know, we have surveys, especially from players that aren't playing the game anymore. Like why, what would we get them to come back? Mm. We have like actual telemetry of what players are doing in game broken down by like different play styles and things like that. We have, you know, uh, Discord, we have Reddit, we have like these things. So we. we Listening to players that don't play the game kind of leads me to the belief of why they're spending so much time on the main storyline and mounts and stuff like that. Because that was those are complaints from people who don't play the game anymore. That leveling was slow. That leveling was boring. Um, they, they need mounts, and obviously they've addressed all of that. So it, you know, it's just, yeah, it feels like that. That very much, I see that in the game in terms of what they're adding. Be nice to uh, also get some stuff for the existing player base as well. Which we do. I'm not. I'm going to be completely unfair. We do get some stuff. We're pulling from a lot of different sources in addition to our own experiences playing the game. Yeah. Well, Sorry, okay. and that's not to invalidate like what they're saying because yeah. from their perspective, like like Scott mentioned, like we've got additional information. There's things that we're super excited about, but they don't have that. Yeah. <laughs> they're coming for you, Katie. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> please come this way. It's please. marketing. I'm about to say something. <laughs> yeah. I can't tell if they're getting closer. Further. Were, you, were you finished with your thought there? The I don't know. But so I was going to add one more thing. <laughs> like the, the one, thanks for pausing while I was, um, I, I want to add one more thing though, which is um, not all features cost the same. So some stuff you're asking for, you're like, oh, just do this or just do that. It might be really, really expensive and we have to make ROI based decisions. It's really important. Um, we can't just like, if we could just do everything and everything costs the same, it would be the easiest job in the world but it's not, it doesn't work that way. Any upcoming mm. region expansion plan for Asia server? No. About one year past, maybe more. So there we go. Uh, Hold on, just pause. There's yeah, a funeral. Oh my gosh, what is this? Show this on the film. Get it. Get... so loud. Hold it quick. What's going on? What is this? Uh, Biden here? Either something really, really, no. really bad happened, or this is a parade. But it's a parade of cops. Some things are in our control, and some things are out of our control. About one okay. year passed, maybe more, since cross-server OPR became a thing. Funeral With that starting that date, we started having title notifications upon entering, exit. Now the same problem in cross-server expeditions 
can we finally get this fixed? Yeah. Yeah, so please. this one was actually a kind of tough one to nail down, to be honest, because it didn't impact everybody. We talked about it in the last QA. We do believe that we have a fix for it. Um, oh, thank coming God. Out with season five. Nice. So if it's still happening, that's very good news. Uh, we are incredibly sorry, yeah. and it'll probably happen to Scott again because he has been plagued by the pop ups since day one. It's horribly annoying, especially if you forget to put your stupid num lock and you don't F two or your your function lock and your F two doesn't work and you get mad and yes, yeah, he's awful. speaking <laughs> from experience. You receive but an yes, so and you there it. is a fix that we, that we believe in in season five. Uh, they are in San Francisco right now. Yeah, the, this was recorded last week, I think, because uh, they were at Game Developer Conference or whatever, which is in San Fran. Uh, they they just said that um, there is a fix for all the notification pop-ups. So if you guys do Outpost Rush or if you do Mutated Expeditions, anything that's cross-server, basically, when you join and when you leave, there's a ton of notifications that pop up in the top right to tell you like every title or achievement that you've completed. Not everybody gets it, apparently, although I thought everybody had that issue. Um, but they say that they're fixing that sometime in season five, so that's cool at least. Question: Six months later, what design decisions do you think you got right and wrong with the rise of the Angry Earth expansion, and what did you learn for the future? Need more resources in the Elysian Wilds. Yeah, so um, I said one of the things more I think we got right, in and that was the artwork. I think we did that really well. There were some really interesting mechanics that we put into place for the um, elite chest areas. Um, that I think are interesting, but um, maybe not the best for that type of gameplay. Um, so that's something that we're looking at um, in the future when we do implement that stuff. Mm -hmm. um, there was also, when we introduced mounts, I think we did, I honestly think we did a really great job with mounts. I think that they feel really good, they look really cool. Yeah. Um, but we had heard internally first, and then it was echoed in data, that the world tours were long, and uh, they felt bad. <laughs> rightfully so, when you failed them by like a second or even a minute after you just spent 15 minutes with them. So uh, we did make adjustments there. Um, so that's definitely something that we're looking at for future content is if we're expecting players to like give as much time as, um, as those required, that we should make them just as rewarding. As I think mounts are like, uh, honestly, what they've done with mounts is good. I just think they, we still need more though. I think the, the mounts have been added in, but it still feels like there's so much room to add more stuff in there. And like I say, making, taking the mount races and uh, actually adding them to the leaderboard or allowing you to compete against other players to like race and stuff, craft saddles for your mount, craft saddle bags. You know, I still think there's so much more that they could do with it. The time commitment. I think, uh, I would add a few things. One, you already touched on something that went wrong. I think Secret of the Spores could have been better. There's also yeah. no writing yeah. aptitude either. Some things that went right in my perspective were, I think the leveling curve was pretty good. The time to le max level. I think the changes we made to perks and uh, yeah. some of the some of the gear chase with the gear raising overall was good. I know there were some problems. We missed the 625 stuff. That you Season still five did. is next yeah. week. But by overall, the way, like it felt second of like April. an improvement to the game. Yeah. Is that when we got rid of expertise also? I think so. I think yes, that was, was a good change. So I think there were some really good overall balance changes, with I, it, but there were some things we missed. Too. Yeah, expertise was that I didn't mention that because it technically wasn't part of the expansion. But you're right; it came out at the exact, it was taken away at the exact same time. Yeah. Mm. Um, another one that kind of falls into that where you didn't have to have the expansion to participate were influence wars or influence races. Um, those I thought were a really great addition. I think that because um, we were trying to recreate this moment that players had in Great Cleave. Um, when we first introduced the PVP reward track. And it was really cool and we did do that, but it's one of those moments where it's like, you didn't go far enough kind of thing. So I think that we're taking that moving forward, making sure that we're not just addressing whatever like the fix is, whatever the thing is we want, but also trying to look around corners and look beyond that. I think that's, that's one of the big lessons that we learned. I wish I had another three hours to think about that question because off the top of my head, I'm sure there's a lot more if yeah. I sat down and thought about it. I want to ask one more. Um, are you able to give some reassurances about the continuation of New World for those of us who would like to see it live a long and prosperous life? Pretty sure we want... Yeah, there you go. Is, is New World shutting down? That's basically the question, chat. Is New World dead? Is New World going away? That's the question. What's the answer? But to live as long as you all want to live, like we're putting... A, yeah. our heart and soul and life into this and on top of playing at all those hours we're working on it all those hours and it's really really important to us so our, we're going to do everything in our power 
to keep it here as long as we can. And that's our intention. Yep. Well, thank you all for- That's not like a definitive yes. <laughs> it's like a little bit of a, huh, okay. <laughs> Hmm. Bearing with us through this ever so noisy outdoor game developer conference shoot uh, was not just hard on you, it was hard on Chuck and Steve too, I can tell you that for sure. I'm looking at them holding their arms for a really long time. It was uh, hard on me too. The noise was a bit much. Levin doesn't get any special thanks. Um, Levin, you look very comfortable. I am very comfortable. Um, we're going to try something new here in about a week, which is a community. A, a, our community manager is going to have a show where we talk about the state of the community. Yeah, it's going to be an um, interesting I hope video. Check that out. It's really interesting. And, um, you know, wish we could answer every question in the in-depth detail you want. And we will be able to, if you consider June soon, pretty soon. Um, otherwise, if you like what you saw, let Wait us know June. on X, YouTube, Discord, MySpace, <laughs> AOL, Netscape, and all those oh, other places. What? Oh, in game chat. In game chat. Especially in game chat. Um, <laughs> anyway, thanks everybody, and uh, see you in a tournament. Bye. I on a tournament. So I guess I on a tournament is what they're calling their uh, like uh, state of the game evaluation, basically. Uh, it's going to be an interesting video to watch next week, chat. So they're, they're going to talk about where they think that, you know, the current situation and state of the game. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, most of the questions were sort of like a slightly repackaged way of uh, saying, you know, uh, what they've already said so far. I think it was it was obviously a joke, but when the, um, the police drove by or whatever, and uh, Katie said uh, it was marketing and that she'd get in trouble if she said anything. I think that's like kind of a hint to some degree. I, I do think, again, my belief is why they hold to June. Why is June so important? It's because of things like uh, the Summer Game Awards, which conveniently is happening on the 7th of June. And I think they have been given an order, uh, a directive above somebody far above their own standing, you know, high up in Amazon. Uh, and it's basically like, hey, we're doing this thing. Uh, we're announcing it. I can't find where it is in the video now. Um, but we're announcing this thing in June. You can tell the players then, but until then, you gotta shut up. <laughs> um, if that's the case, then, you know, I, I guess, what else can you do? But it does feel pretty crappy. Uh, that, that feedback can't go back up the line, and the feedback can't go to whoever is calling that shot and be like, hey, you know, uh, we have... I know we're focusing on the console player base, but our existing player base is pretty miserable, so can we do something there. Uh, Scott is giving info is not good right now for the long time health of the game. Yeah, no, yeah. What he, what, he, what he kept saying, what he said so many times is that they can't give us information now because it wouldn't be good for the long term health of the game. Um, and all I can translate that into is we can't tell you what's going to happen in the future because it will affect the now, I guess. Like, my perspective is there's probably like a gear score increase or a gear reset or a... I don't think they would do a server wipe because that would be pretty insane. <laughs> I think that would just absolutely piss everybody off. There's no way they could do a server wipe. Uh, man, imagine that chat. I finally get all my territories to 300 and then they wipe the servers. But yeah, something that they don't want to tell us because they're uh, worried it will have knock-on consequences if they announce it now. Um... What that would be, I don't know. We're still gonna have to wait until June, but you know, the good news is it's uh, it's almost April at least, chance. So we just got April and May. We got two months to get through, and uh, then we can finally, you know, figure, like learn whatever this secret information is. Man, I don't know, chat. I really don't know what they could announce in June that would actually excite everybody. Um, given the current negativity surrounding New World right now, um, what could they say in June that people would actually? be really excited for i'm not sure uh but either way that is gonna do it for today's video on that very positive note <laughs> uh yeah i think we're just gonna have to wait until june chat we're gonna watch that um state of the game video next week though that should be interesting so if you guys want to see that youtube make sure as always you click that like button and subscribe for more uh baggins new world fusion content and i'll catch you guys all in the next video oh and also link to this video in the description down below